back to another episode of Wishing Country Living. I am Kim and today I'm going to show you how to fix the cast iron frying pan which it looks like this. Um, I left this outside and it got pretty bad. So I'm going to show you, it's a little cracky here. I'm going to show you how I am going to fix this. Um, the first thing I want to show you is I'm going to use this Scotch Bright steel wool. Um, it'll work great. That's one of those out. And there it is in the package. There it go. Now, I use a sponge. This is an old sponge that I have. Um, I'm going to use the sponge to hold it because this material wool stuff scratches my nails and <laughs> I don't like it. So I'm going to use this. Um, I have hot soapy water here. I know you're going to say, you know, you're not supposed to use soap, but I have to totally restore this. Um, one of the reasons you don't want to use soap is because you don't want to take off the, the grease, the seasoning that I'm going to show you how to redo. Like mine's gone except for some kind of ring in there. I don't even know what that is. So I'm going to use hot soapy water to get rid of all the rust. And I'm just going to keep scrubbing. I'm going to scrub the handle. I'll scrub the handle. I'll scrub the inside. Um, and there we have it. I'm just going to keep going until all the rust is gone. So now I'm going to get a paper towel and I am just going to dry it out. I'm going to dry it really well. Oh, beautiful. Even the underside's nice. Um, if you see here, it is, there's a lot of buildup. I can't get all that off, but I did the best I could. I got it very dry. And now I'm going to take it. To the, oh, and the reason I have this sitting here, this is a large brush um, for your cast iron. Once it's seasoned very well, you could just use this and go inside and just scrub it out, dry it re-season it put it away but you have to you have to dry these after every use okay so it is very hot i am actually going to turn it off and i am going to use crisco in my pan to season it. You can use canola oil. I don't know what I have here. Vegetable oil, avocado oil. You just want to make sure it has a high smoke point. You could use lard, tallow, baking grease. Um, these pans have been around for over a hundred years. And some of this oil that is has a high smoke point wasn't around back then. So I'm just going to use Crisco and then after I have it, have that all in there, I'm going to put it in the oven. I'll be back to show you that. Actually, I wanted to show you me actually seasoning my pan. Um, I'm going to put this in there and I am going to really rub it in. Rub it, rub it. Just, it's hot. So make sure you don't burn yourself, but just keep, keep rubbing. And rubbing you only need a little bit and you just keep going and keep rubbing 
and really rub it in there. I'm going to do the inside, the outside, the handle, the whole entire thing. I'm going to keep doing. And if I need to more, because you only need a thin coating. You don't want to put so much that it gets gunked up on there. So just keep rubbing and keep going. And you don't need a lot. Just keep, keep doing it. Okay, so in my little electric oven here, I usually put foil down. Um, I didn't do that today, but that's okay. Um, I have it on roast because my bake doesn't go that high. Um, I'm going to do it on 400 for 30 minutes. I'm going to close the doors and it's going to do its thing. And I will be back to show you. Okay, it is finishing up. So now, and at this point, I'm going to leave mine in there to cool down. Um, if you have a brand new cast iron pan, you're going to want to do this two or three times. Mine, I was just re-seasoning it after I washed it really good, so I'm only going to do it once. Now at this point, At this point, my next thing that I would do with mine is I'm going to cook something greasy in it. And what I mean by that is probably bacon. Um, also, I would, if I didn't have bacon, I would do burgers. But there's what the inside of mine looks like. And that is okay for me. Because like I said, if I was just re-seasoning it. Um, after I have cleaned it really well, I'm just going to leave it in here um, to cool. I'm going to let it cool in there. And my next thing I will do is cook bacon. And when I go to do that, I'm going to show you what to do with your bacon grease when you're done cooking. Um, for now, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know about your stories with cast iron and things that you went through. So for now, thank you for watching and as always, keep wishing.